Welcome to our live training session number six. In this video, we're going to be tuning an R34 Skyline using a Haltech Pro plugin box. Now, jumping into the details on the Skyline, we have a stock RB26 bottom end. On the top end, we have Tomei Pond Cams. Those are going to be a drop in cam for this RB26. We also find that we have an upgraded Gretti intake plenum on this engine. Now on the turbo side of things, we have twin GTX 2867R turbos, three inch downpipes, four inch exhaust, and an upgraded front mount intercooler. Now on the fuel side of things, we have ID 1300s with a wall roll 450 liter per hour fuel pump, as well as an external regulator and lines so we can dial in our fuel pressure as needed. Now in addition to this, we also find they're gonna be tuning on 93 octane, and then we also have sensors such as an AEM three and a half bar, an AM 0 to 150 PSI pressure sensor, a three-port boost solenoid, and a GM intake air temp sensor. So let's jump into this video so we can create our base calibration file and begin this live training session. All right, so let's get started here with our live training session number six. We're gonna be tuning our R34 Skyline with a Haltech Pro plugin. So let's jump into our ECU manager now and create our base calibration file so we can get this engine fired up and begin this training session. So jumping in here, we're gonna go into our folder, we're going to open, we're going to move down into our Nissan directory. It's going to hold all the base calibration files um, that Haltech has available for us. We click on this, we're going to be looking for an R34 file. Now we have one R34 file here, we also find we have an R34 GT, and then we also find the R34 V2. Now this is a GTR, and I have a V2 or version 2 Pro plugin box. So I'm going to select this folder here, it's going to have two different file types. I'm going to be selecting my VE based file, um, not my mass airflow based. I do not have the mass airflows installed on this engine anymore. So go here and select the VE and go to open. And give it a second here and open up. Now this base calibration will start and run a stock R34, but obviously this is not stock. We have a lot of modifications done, so we need to create a base calibration that will allow me to fire up this engine and, 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 and let it run properly to at least get started doing our tuning. So let's jump in here and start to modify this pace calibration. Now one thing I want to point out is that this is the up top here at the, uh, the uh, top of the screen. We're going to see Pro R34 V2. It's going to give us this file type or the file name. We do not want to save over top of this file. This is going to be that base file we have in our directory. We need to save this as a different name right now before we begin so that we don't have to worry about essentially erasing or overwriting this base calibration. If we want to start over again for whatever reason, it will not be available to us unless they, we do that right now and create a different file name. So I'm going to go up here, file, I'm going to go to save as, which is uh, we want to go ahead and create a